five flu vaccine myths, and we're going to debunk them right after this. Welcome back, my name is Tammy and this is Nurse Minder and on this channel we do everything nursing. So if you're new here, consider subscribing below so that you get the next video when it's released. So before I get into the myths today on flu vaccination, I'm getting a lot of comments on my videos from people who are saying, hey, this is a great channel, there should be more subscribers. And I'm like, yes, there should be. So I'm going to ask that if you've watched some of our videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe because I'll tell you what that does for me is it helps YouTube recognize that this is a channel of value and it will get it out to more people. So when you subscribe, don't forget to share it with your friends. Especially if you're in healthcare, there are lots of people who are learning nursing and I recognize that having the tools when you need them is so important. That is why I created this channel. So subscribe, share, comment, let me know how things are working out for you. All of those things help YouTube know that this is a station worth promoting and then that will help me to connect with more people who need the content just like you. Now let's get into our myth busting. Okay, myth number one is that the flu shot will give me the flu. That's simply not true. And here's the reason why. When the scientists create our flu vaccination, first of all, they're looking to see what are the worst strains that we think are gonna to come to your country and make you really sick. From there, they're going to create a vaccine which has inactivated viruses, or we call them dead viruses. And so when we inject that into your arm through your flu vaccination, it allows your body to get kind of a first look, going, oh, that's what we're looking for, okay. And so if this comes up, we're gonna launch this response and it starts to build its army. And so when you do get exposure to the live training, so it's, that's kind of like it's practice run. When the live training comes, your body recognizes it, it's able to jump into action and support you to keep you healthy. That's a good thing. Now what you can expect to happen as a result of receiving a flu vaccination are side effects. When it comes to side effects, some of them may resemble that of a flu. So you may have a fever, you may have irritability, you may not want to eat or drink, and you may feel just like not yourself. You most likely will have tenderness at the insertion site. That's the most common side effect is that that muscle is a little achy because it's working a little harder right now. So with that being said, the side effects are important to understand because if those happen within one to two days after the vaccination, we attribute those, those symptoms to the vaccine as side effects. Now when it comes to receiving protection from the vaccine, it does take up to two weeks this is important, two weeks for your body to launch a full immune response. Whatever your body's capable of preparing, because we all respond a little differently, but your maximum protection will happen at the two week mark. And so, pay attention, day one I get the vaccine, day two I come into contact with the live virus, my body hasn't had time to put into practice what it needs to do. And so now I have this live virus and I'm going to get the flu because I've only got very limited immunity at this point. So sometimes when people get the flu shot, they still come into contact with the virus within that time frame when we don't have immunity really built up yet, and they still get sick, which is why they say, I got the flu shot and I got the flu, what gives? The other reason people say, I got the flu shot and I got the flu, what gives, is because the side effects of the flu shot typically are mild and most people only ever really notice a sore arm after they get the injection. But it can be more than that. You can go on to develop a fever, you can go up to feel, you can go on to develop um, not wanting to eat, feeling nauseous, feeling irritable, really tired, all those kind of things that sound and feel like a flu. You can have those as a side effect of the vaccination. We typically look for that to happen within the first one to two days, so up to 48 hours if those symptoms start, we attribute that to the flu shot. If that happens after, you need to go get checked out, girl, because there might be something else going on, okay? You may have already had contact with a flu virus, with a cold virus, with a fungus, with something else that's going on that's causing you to feel ill, and you would want some support with that, okay? All right, the next myth. This body is healthy. I don't need no vaccine. Well, you might get lucky. I wish you luck. Or you might not get lucky. And you get sick anyways. And when you're laying in the hospital bed because you can't breathe, you're on oxygen, you're struggling even to get to the bathroom, you need somebody to wipe your ass, 
because it exhausted you just getting there. You might be sitting there wondering, I should have taken the flu shot. That would have been a half an hour out of my day, maybe a little discomfort, maybe I would have had a few days where I just felt unwell. That would have felt a whole lot better than this moment right now when I can't breathe in this hospital and I'm struggling and I'm scared and I don't know what's going to happen. Your choice. You can, you can go forward with luck and hope or you can take science on your side and know that you have immunity already in your body so that when you get exposed to the virus, your body is ready to respond and protect you because that's what the immune system does. It protects you. It keeps you safe from harm. Okay, but it can only do that if it knows what it's looking for. And that's what the flu shot does for us. Now it's true, you will hear people say, I never get the flu shot and I've never been sick. But you will also hear people say, I always take the flu shot and I've never been sick. And on the flip side, there are both people who take the flu shot and don't take the flu shot who do get sick. And so you'll have to just decide which category you'd like to be in. Here's the biggie one, the biggie, biggie, biggie one. The flu shot will lead to autism. So many studies have debunked this, and yet this is still a concern. And that's because word of mouth, social media, people just skew things and we take it for religion. I'm guilty of it too. Sometimes I gotta stop and do my own research. Thimerosal is a mercury-based preservative that is used in multi-dose vials. It's not in very many vaccines, but it is in the flu vaccination, and that's because it's there to prevent bacteria and fungus from growing in the vial that can harm you. So the thimerosal is used in a very, very small amount, very small amount, and it actually breaks down into ethyl mercury, which is excreted in your body in your poop. So your body gets rid of it, whoosh, flushes it away, whoosh, literally. It's the methyl mercury that we need to be looking for, and that is not a part of vaccination. So if you want to do some more research on those two, I encourage you to do that. Start to spread the information and help people make informed choices and not fear-based choices about the safety and the efficacy of your flu vaccination. Here's another one I hear. I got the flu shot five years ago. I've never been sick. Am I not still protected? The answer is no, not likely. So the research shows that our immunity from the flu vaccination decreases over the year, which is why we need to get an annual booster. But with that, every year they have determined which is likely to be the most harmful viruses that hit your country. And from there, they create the vaccine to help protect you from those three or four worst ones that they anticipate could cause harm to you, directly to you. Now, right now, the COVID-19 vaccine is not available, and our current flu vaccination program does not provide protection against COVID-19. It protects you against four different strains, two influenza A's and two influenza B's. So when the COVID-19 vaccine comes out, it will be very specific to that virus that it's giving you protection to. Another two thumbs up. Okay, so we've talked about the flu shot cannot give you the flu. We've talked about how the flu shot can give you immunity and it can also give you side effects. We've covered how you may have already come in contact with a flu virus prior to or within that first early days of getting your flu vaccine. That's what's going to lead you to having the flu. We've also mentioned Thimerosal and it's believed link to autism, which is not true. There is no link to autism. Thimerosal breaks down into ethyl mercury excreted whoosh, flushed out of the body. Okay. It doesn't build up. It doesn't cause any neurotoxicity. We've also talked about how a healthy body is still at risk because the virus does not discriminate. If you are healthy and choose not to get the flu vaccine, that is your choice. You have that right to not put that into your body you then accept the consequences of if you come in contact with one of those viruses that can kill you, that you might die. Or you may end up in the hospital for longer than it would have taken you to get the flu vaccine. Or you may have complications that last for months and years to come that permanently changes the quality of your life. That's your decision. That is your choice. If that's a future you want to paint, you can dream it, you can live it. I choose to get the protection because that's not my future. That's not how I want to live. Now that kind of leads us into, it's better just to get the flu than to get the flu shot because my body will build natural immunity. Well, it's true your body will build immunity in either case, but if you risk the flu, you risk the complications, 
you risk being in the hospital, feeling short of breath, on oxygen, not able to get out of bed without assistance, not able to get to the bathroom without assistance, coughing and struggling and feeling fearful about what's going to happen to me. I personally choose the sore arm and maybe a couple of days in convenience where I don't feel so well. That's my choice. You do you, boo. You do you. All right, guys, Stronger Together merchandise can be purchased on this page here. You can just click on the merch link and you can find your Stronger Together t-shirts, sweaters, mugs, all sorts of stuff. And of course, I've got the Make It a Great Day there as well. That's one way you can support me in continuing to create this great content for you. The second is to subscribe. <laughs> I have a dream, people. I have a dream to get the 100,000 subscribers so I can get one of those fancy plaques for YouTube that says I hit 100,000 subscribers. But in order to do that, I need you to help me get there. So if you are consuming and watching these videos and you're finding value, just hit that subscribe button. You can hit the bell so you get notified when the next video comes out. And you can also share this with your friends and say, hey, I found this great channel. Why don't you subscribe and help this girl make her dreams come true? That would be fantastic. I appreciate every single one of you who's on this journey with me and looking forward to the next milestone. I want it hanging right here on the wall. Big YouTube. It'll be my you've made it moment and you can help me get there. Hey, I know you're probably not ready to get off your phone or go back to work just yet or maybe even turn the lights off to go to sleep. So why don't you spend a little bit more time here watching another video?